Hello everyone and greetings from a very quiet Kiel campus where I've been based since the country went into lockdown in March. I'd like to start by repeating my previous thanks to all those colleagues who have remained on campus to support our remaining students and those staff who have responded quickly and positively to working from home. The last few months have proved a challenging time for all of us and it's been fantastic to see how colleagues have risen to that challenge keeping the university going, enabling our students to continue studying and completing the academic year and working hard to prepare for the year ahead. I'm also really proud of how our students responded to the new way of studying over the last few months in these unprecedented times. And I hope that you, our students, do manage to enjoy the summer, whether you are at the end of your studies at Kiel or returning in September. As a university, we've continued to support the battle against COVID-19 and its impact. For example, you may have seen in the media that we are currently hosting a trial led by Imperial College London that is assessing the accuracy and usability of new diagnostic tests for the virus. And we should all be very proud of the role that Kiel is playing in the international effort to tackle COVID-19. You will have all seen our five stage plan that highlights how we will respond as the country gradually opens up from lockdown. As things stand, we expect to increase the amount of laboratory-based research on campus over the next few weeks. And we are putting a lot of work into preparing to get our campus ready for students to return at the end of September. This afternoon, we've published a detailed update on our website at keel.ac.uk slash coronavirus that summarizes our progress on this and what it will mean in practice across our many different teams and functions. For example, from September, all of our degree programmes will be operating with a flexible digital approach. This means that there will be a set of online activities with small group sessions and practical sessions held on campus. These will be designed to enable social distancing and give our students another layer of social and intellectual contact. We will of course be flexible in our approach so that anybody who needs to self-isolate will be able to continue their learning via our digital channels. The same would apply if the country itself finds itself under further restrictions. We will need to continue to be flexible and ready to adapt if needed. Colleagues in IT, student services and the library have all adjusted their services to enable digital support. And they have a range of new approaches ready to deliver a hybrid of on-campus and digital support from September onwards. And we're making excellent progress with our welcome program for new students and our welcome back programme for those returning, with remote enrolments and a blend of virtual and campus-based events being designed for the return in September. Informed by comprehensive risk assessments, adjustments are being planned for student accommodation, teaching spaces, catering venues, the student union building, and our main thoroughfares across campus, with markers around building entrances to ensure social distancing can easily be maintained. It is important that we adhere to core government advice that staff should work from home if they are able. And it is likely for, that for some staff, it will be quite some time before you are working back on campus on a regular basis. We are continuing to evaluate what we need to do to support staff working from home for an extended period, while at the same time, we are making thorough preparations for the return of some staff onto campus. There are some activities that will need to take place on campus over the next few weeks, for example, in relation to admissions and clearing. And we will gradually need more staff to prepare the campus for the next academic year. So we are ensuring that when this is required, the appropriate safeguards and protocols are in place so that we all feel safe at work. You can read more in-depth plans on the website and I'll continue to keep in touch regularly to update you on progress. If you have any comments or questions on what has been posted today, please do email me at vc at ac.uk. Thank you and stay safe.